grenade blasts at a blue-collar bar, and a crowded bus stop, rattled Nairobi on Monday, as the country worried whether Al-Qaeda-linked militants from Somalia were carrying out their promise to launch reprisal attacks in Kenya's capital. The attacks came only two days after the U.S. warned of imminent terror attacks. The U.S. warning had implied that the Somali group Al-Shabaab would carry out reprisals in response to Kenyan troops' invasion of Somalia in mid-October. The militants had promised to unleash terror attacks in Nairobi in retaliation for the offensive. Authorities said it was too soon to name suspects in either blast, though the small-scale blasts targeted Kenyans rather than foreigners as the U.S. warning had suggested. Al-Shabaab is loosely affiliated with Al-Qaeda and has carried out several sophisticated suicide attacks, including a bombing that killed more than 100 in Somalia's capital earlier this month and an attack in Uganda's capital. That killed 76 people in July 2010. One Nairobi-based security official, who was not allowed to be quoted by name, said Al-Shabaab has bombing, down to a fine art. Throwing grenades, he said, is not their style, though the fact the attacks came so close to the U.S. Embassy warning was hard to ignore.